Hey, it's Aaron. Today I want to talk about pickup truck sizes. Not the size of the truck itself, but how much stuff can you fit in the back. So uh, if you're like me, uh, you occasionally have to take a truck, haul a bunch of stuff to maybe the town dump or the recycling station or somewhere like that. Most of those places, they charge you by the yard. And uh, maybe you're going to go load a, uh, I don't know, a bunch of gravel. Maybe you're getting some dirt because you're going to redo your garden bed, something like that. Again, you're going to pay by the yard. How much does your truck hold? If you fill it up, how much is that? That's a great question because it varies a lot by truck. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through basically th uh, four kinds of truck. I'm going to talk about mid-sized trucks or compact trucks uh, in two different configurations, and we'll talk about full-size trucks, half-ton specifically, but uh, this would apply to other full-size trucks in the heavy-duty category that have the same size bed. So um, there's two different ways to measure. One is to fill to the top of the bed, which would mean the edge of the rails. So you basically you're filling from the bottom all the way up. The second way is to fill all the way to the top of the cab. And so what I did is I did calculations in a square, right? It's complicated calculations. There's a big formula for it. it involves a lot of like Z's and parentheses and whatnots to come up with an area. Actually, it doesn't. So, uh, yeah, my fifth grader can do this geometry. But anyway, um, so first we'll start with compact trucks. We'll start with small trucks. And what I did was I took uh, I took... All of them in this category, there were uh, five, if you don't count the GM twins as two separate vehicles, because uh, they are literally the same size. So I took those, I made the measurements in each going off of manufacturer numbers for the uh, length and depth of the bed and the height of the overall truck. And then I just averaged it. So here's what you're gonna get. If you have a mid-size pickup truck, so compact mid-size pickup truck, with a uh, four by six foot bed, so that's four feet wide, six foot long, that is kind of the industry standard. At the top of the bed, you're at about 1.33-ish cubic yards. So in your particular truck, it could vary anywhere from about 1.2, uh, which is the smallest, all the way up to maybe 1.4 or 1.45. So average is about 1.33. Uh, if you fill all the way to the top of the cab, again, that varies by height of the truck. Some of these trucks are taller than others. Um, you're going to be at about 2.66 cubic yards. So that's uh, most of the trucks are going to fit right there. Now, if you happen to have a longer bed, so if you happen to have been lucky or you got the single cab version of a rare option for a, a compact truck today, then you'll have a four by seven bed. So it's four feet wide, seven feet long. Those are very unusual, but a lot of work trucks will have that. So you're going to have about 1.56 cubic yards to the bed, and then you're going to have about 3.11 or so to the top of the truck. So if you can fill the truck in a square, 3.11. If you can fill it to the top of the bed, one and a half or so, that's about how much you've got. So uh, I'm kind of showing some examples. Other side, kind of showing some examples uh, so you get an idea what I'm talking about over here. Now into full size trucks. Full size trucks pretty much have two options. They have a five by seven bed and they have a five by eight bed. It's pretty rare to see anything different than that. There are slightly smaller than seven. And if that is what you have, if you have, say, one of the really short bed six footers or something, use the numbers from the compact trucks because they're going to be pretty close to what you've got. Um, so let's get on that. With a five by seven, um, up to the top of the bed, you got not quite two cubic yards. You got 1.94 or 95. So you're right, not quite two cubic yards. If you can fill it to the top of the cab, you got about 3.9. So 3.89, I think was my average, but 3.9 uh, for that bed. Now, if you have a five by eight, so if you have a full, this is considered full size uh, out here in the country where I live. Um, if you have an eight foot bed, five by eight foot bed, uh, you probably do not have a crew cab truck. You probably have a single cab or a uh, maybe a double. So the, the, the small back part add on. 
Anyway, a five by eight, you got 2.22 cubic yards to the top of the bed. So you're going to have somewhere, most trucks are going to have right between about uh, 2.1 and 2.3 in there. So I would just go with 2.2. Now, if you have it all the way to the top of the cab, it literally just doubles because the depth of the bed now is about the same as the height of the cab. So you're at about 4.44. Um, so that number of cubic yards, it's important to know that if you're a truck owner. Um, I have used this before because I have pulled into the uh, transfer station, the dump, to get rid of stuff. And they tried to charge me by the cubic yard in a truck that had a short bed and I said this is a short bed truck this is not a three cubic yard truck this is uh, you know and I argued it a little bit and I got the five bucks off um, cheapskate what can I say but there's the sizes of the bed for your pickup truck so yours is going to fit in this average somewhere just figure out what kind of truck do you have uh, you know Jeep Gladiator or Ram 1500 whatever and uh, this should give you an idea. So there you go. That's what I got. If you got something you want me to, to explain or uh, if you have a question about automotive you want me to answer, I will do my best to do that. Hit me up. Go down to the comments down there. Uh, I don't know. Email me. Find me on Facebook. Whatever. And just ask. All right. This has been Aaron. Talk to you again soon.